I think that's the most suspect shit ever. Man, if you drink wine in the club, it's probably the gayest thing you can do besides kiss a nigga. Like, as a man. There's not too much more you can do. Like, at that point, it's like getting sex on the beach or wet pussy. And I ain't talking about, like, the vagina. I'm talking about you actually say, oh, give me a wet vagina. No, it's not wet pussy. I don't like saying the word pussy. That's how gay you are. Like, you don't like saying the word pussy because you're that gay. Only, only fags don't like saying pussy and other women. But by and by, I seen nigga, I seen in the club all the time. Little young niggas who ain't never had a daddy been around this bitch with bottles of Moscato, like it's cool. Trying to pour it up for they niggas. Like I see, man, my mother drinks Moscato with her friends on a Sunday afternoons, nigga. That is an old woman's chill drink. That's like sex in the city. You niggas probably buy purses too. Oh my god. But Moscato, drinking Moscato in the club, and drink Moscato, period. I mean, dude shouldn't do it, man. Be a man, get a beer. Real talk, if you after a certain age, if you still catching uh, that ride in the back seat of the coop, you should stay home, man, get your life together. You ain't always gotta go out, man. That's one thing. Niggas try and party too much. If you got if your best friend or your homeboy got a two-door vehicle and another nigga in the shotgun already, stay home. You ain't gotta go out. You can stay home, get your life together, man. Buy a car. Or catch a cab. If you that serious about kicking it. Catch a cab, nigga. If you get a cab, you can go drink your ass off, get back in the cab, and get home safely. You just stay, you, you're the third nigga in the coop, you just going to look at bitches. Because you can't fuck nobody, you in the coop. Ain't no girl gonna fuck with you. The pattern you get some pussy, because the girls can get in the back seat. Not you. You in the back seat with them. You gotta sit in the middle with two girls next to you. Hi, what's your name? Oh, you gonna fuck him? Okay. He's a real nice guy. Gave me a ride third coop? Yeah. Like, that's the dumbest fuck. If you the third nigga in the coop, you don't, you don't need to be in the club, man. Say your ten dollars or twenty dollars stay in the house, man, and just get you a six pack of beer and just drink and watch TV or watch music videos. Matter of fact, cut on uh, MTV jams and watch and drink beer. Cause that's all you really gonna do anyways. Look at bitches and drink. And you probably can't even drink. So get a beer, man. Get a forty. Fucking loser. You know you fucked up when you drink forty ounces still, nigga. That's what you should do. If you're thirty in the coop, get a forty ounce, man. Call it a day. I actually have never fucked a white girl, I dated a white girl. I date black women, but nigger bitches, I don't fuck with nigger bitches. People you know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing I'm saying. I date black women all the time. I just don't fuck with nigger bitches. Nigger bitches is not something I'll put my dick on. Mm-mm. That's -mm. gonna suck my dick. See, I, I got some hair from some nigger bitches, because that's all they, they good. Nigger bitches will suck your dick watching the bootleg movie, nigga. You can't beat that shit. Over on them projects over on 30th and shit by, by Tri C uh, downtown. Whew, the Bay Mama Projects, nigga. Oh my god, but it's so bad over there. You don't get your dicks up with a condom on. Hey, that's like the most trifling shit in the world. <laughs> Cause you be halfway through like, this is some shit you do with a prostitute. Why am I over here? I, I don't trust her, but I really want a nut. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you at that pride level where you don't want to jack off, but you don't feel like calling your girl back cause you want to apologize. So you stuck right there, getting your dicks up with a condom from the whore. Yo, know, this nigga disgusted. I'm sorry, that's true as fuck. I'm sorry. I can't believe in any man whose pants are so tight I can see your balls. Like that shit, you can't really be tough when you got a yeast infection. I and mean, you can't even put shit in your pocket. That's that should be the test for most men. That's fucked up when you gotta do that shit nowadays. When you can't put your keys, cell phone, and wallet in your pocket. You gotta have like a book bag or some handbag or whatever faggot shit y'all niggas doing. When you can't do that shit, you all fucked up. Niggas, you can't argue with nobody when you ain't got no keys or nothing in your pocket. Like, nigga, I ain't got nothing in my pocket. Nigga, you're a loser. You're aimless. You're whining in the world like a hobo. You can't fight. What you, you fighting for life right now. You trying to survive out in these streets. And like, tight jeans and jean jackets. I don't know who the fuck told me to start wearing jean jackets again. Trying to be Michael J. Fox and shit. That shit is not cool. Like, no. What else is stupid? Them glasses. When people wear the glasses with nothing, no, either no frames in them or the plastic frame that has nothing in it. I don't understand that shit because it's really stupid. Like, nigga, we, that's like me walking around with crutches for no damn reason. Or even worse than that, me in a wheelchair as a fashion statement. And I'm going I'm to act like I got a handicap so I can look cool. So I'm going to ride around in this wheelchair. And we don't even tell nobody. You just ride, ride around the wheelchair all day. People open doors for me. Complain about no, this place ain't got no steps, you know, ain't got no ramp, all that shit. Is that cool? 
Is that the new trend we're going to do in a minute? Because we're going to wear glasses every day and you know, bad eyesight. Let's keep going. Let's walk around with canes. Let's have canes for no reason. Let's walk around with a cane. Like my nigga uh, Scott did on the, <laughs> on the Kardashian show. I'm going to walk around with a cane next. Like, I got a fucked up leg. I'm going to be out here like house. Nigga popping Vicodin pills and, and walk around with a cane is a fashion statement. Faggots. I had to say that shit one time. 